Hello, I'm Jenny. Thanks so much for clicking on my video. I want to show you today how I went about painting this very simple canvas. If you have a big wall at home and want something fairly minimalist and neutral to fill the space, this sort of thing is perfect. This particular canvas is 160 by 120 centimeters, which is actually one of the biggest I've ever painted. Another good reason to keep the method nice and straightforward. You can't really see here because I'm drawing the lines with a pencil, but I am drawing lines using a one point perspective rule. Here is a little sketch to show you exactly how to create these lines. Start with a vanishing point, slightly to the left of the middle of the canvas. From here, draw your guidelines which lead to the outer edges. So two on the left, one coming out to the bottom, three on the right and one at the top. The only other lines you'll need are horizontals and verticals. They will meet the vanishing guidelines to create shapes. These lines won't be seen in the end, but you do need to draw them on to get the correct perspective illusion. For my painting, I actually added a couple of shadow triangles like this, but you'll see that later. So on to the colours. For this piece I'm using a colour scheme of blues and I'm mixing my colours before I start. I wanted a medium blue to create a sky and a light and dark turquoise for two of the walls. I didn't know this at the time but I ended up changing the colours later as I didn't feel they were quite right in the end. For me that happens all the time. I don't like a colour I've chosen so I just paint straight over the top with a new one. It's not ideal, but it's realistic, these things happen. So here I am using a really wide brush and painting in the colour, just leaving a small gap between each line. Dark and light turquoise for the first wall, and dark and light beige for the second wall. Blue for the sky, grey for the square, and the same dark beige for the back wall grey shadow. I immediately didn't like the blue shade so I've gone over the top with this slightly more purpley blue. It's called grey blue and I just much prefer the tone. Then another review, I still wasn't quite happy with my colour choices. I think it's important to remember that colours look so different when they are being mixed to how they dry so I'm not too surprised when it turns out different to what I expected. I replaced the grey with this dark blue called indigo. And then the turquoise with this darker shade. That light turquoise will also be replaced later. Then for the edges, I'm using sellotape, but any sort of tape will do as long as it's sticky enough that the paint won't creep under the edges. I tape along the edges exactly where I want the line to be, then paint on top, peel off the tape and voila, it's perfectly straight. So easy. If you need to do two coats of paint before removing the tape, a hairdryer is very handy to speed up the drying time in between layers. I'm changing that turquoise to a darker shade and then continuing with the taped edges. I am much happier with this colour scheme. I think it's a bit richer and more mature than some of those very bright and pastel colours I used to begin with. So it's looking really simple and all the edges are sharp, which is great. I decided to add those triangular shadows, so I take the same colours I've previously used and mix up each one with a touch of black to make a shadowed version of each colour. I use the tape again to map out my shadow areas and paint them on. I don't see there to be any point in trying to paint a straight line with a brush, for me anyway it would be an impossible task. So this is the finished effect. Like I said, 
simple and minimalist, but a good attempt at a really big canvas. And depending on your house colour scheme, you could vary the colours or make it more of a statement with lots of different bright colours. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.